The Pennsylvania Railroad, once the nation's largest carrier of both freight and passenger traffic. Called the standard railroad of the world, the Pensy was a dominant force in the transportation industry, carrying millions of tons of freight and countless numbers of passengers. Her ribbons of steel bound the nation's industrial Midwest through depression and world war. The Pennsylvania Railroad served its name state, plus Ohio, Indiana, Michigan, and Illinois, as well as the Northeast Corridor between Philadelphia, Baltimore, and Washington. The system's main line separated from the New York-Washington line at North Philadelphia and traveled west via Harrisburg and Pittsburgh, bound for Chicago and St. Louis. En route, the line encountered steep grades, twisting and climbing its way through the Allegheny Mountains. The Pensy was a conservatively run railroad, although it did remain competitive with its great rival to the north, the New York Central. The two railroads vied with each other in many areas, such as quality of equipment, competitive trains between common points, and in presenting a proud public image. One of the most competitive areas was the passenger traffic between New York and Chicago, and competition was spirited between their flagship trains, the Broadway Limited and the 20th Century Limited. Although the Pennsylvania's Broadway Limited had to encounter the tough grades west of Philadelphia, its run from New York to Chicago was only 908 miles, compared to the Central's easier water-level route of 960 miles. Originally, running times for both trains was 28 hours. Then in 1902, with substantial improvements in equipment, the scheduled time was cut to 20 hours. It was cut again in 1905 to 18 hours. In 1938, streamlined equipment was introduced on the Pensy's Broadway and the Central's 20th Century, and both trains were placed on a new 16-hour schedule between New York and Chicago. During the days when steam was king, the Central's Hudson's and the Pensy's famous Class K-4 Pacifics were the mainstays of express passenger varnish. The Pennsylvania Railroad's Class K-4S Pacifics were among the most perfectly designed locomotives ever to ride American rails. Some call them the world's greatest Pacifics. The trademark of nearly all intercity expresses and limiteds, the K-4s were the keystone of Pensy's mainline passenger service from World War I until dieselization in the 50s. They would remain the railroad's principal steam passenger power for 30 years. Although many Pensy engines were successful, none was as successful and widely recognized as the 425-unit fleet of K-4S Pacifics. Built in the years 1914 through 1928, they were without question one of the simplest and most cost-effective passenger engines ever devised. Their longevity was due not only to the railroad's strict adherence to standardization and operating circumstances, but also the fact that their design achieved the pinnacle of success. The evolution process of passenger power leading to the K-4 class was a long parade of American types, heavy-duty Atlantics, and finally, K-2 and K-3 light Pacifics. The K-4 class locomotive was developed to fill the greater need for power on Pensy's passenger trains and essentially was nothing more than an enlarged E-6. Tractive effort of the K-4 was 42% greater than the E-6, and the locomotive was capable of speeds in excess of 90 miles per hour. Great power and capacity was built into the K-4s. They had large, free-steaming boilers with powerful 27 by 28-inch cylinders, boxy bell pair fireboxes, a Pensy standard, and 80-inch drivers. However, throughout their reign, they remained a relatively plain and simple machine without the appliance gadgetry of the superpower era. Gradual measures were made to make the K-4s more efficient. The two biggest improvements were the installation of stokers and larger tenders equipped with water scoops. With these additions, the K-4s produced more usable power pound for pound and dollar for dollar than most passenger engines of their time. Other K-4 experiments and improvements over the years included power reverse, cast drop pilots, front end throttles, smoke deflectors, streamlining, and Franklin oscillating cam poppet valves. During World War II, as trains became heavier, double-headed K-4s became a common sight. Also making brief but impressive appearances were radical new engines by Pensy standards. K-4 locomotives were replaced in the late 40s and into the 50s by M1-class dual-service mountain types, shark-nosed non-articulated T1 duplexes, and finally the diesel-electric locomotive. 
The K-4s spent their final days in service hauling New Jersey commuter trains from South Amboy and Camden over the New York and Long Branch Railroad. One of the last operable K-4s was number 1361, a 1918 graduate of Altoona's Juniata shops. With the fading era of steam power and the end of Pennsylvania Railroad steam operations in 1957 came the retirement and preservation of two K-4 class locomotives. K-4 number 3750 went to the Pennsylvania Railroad Museum in Strasburg, Pennsylvania, while number 1361 was donated to the city of Altoona and was placed on static display at Horseshoe Curve on June 8, 1957.